Let's have a look at this exam style question on ecosystems. The question says figure two shows an aquatic food web. And part A says name the producer in this food web. The first thing I'm going to do is identify the command word, which in this question is the word name. So we're being asked just to give the name of an organism from the food web, which is shown over here in figure two. So let's start by reminding ourselves what producer is. Well, producer is an organism that's found at the start of a food chain or a food web that makes its own food using energy from the sun. So let's have a closer look at the diagram. And remember, the arrows show the direction of the flow of energy. And I can see down here we have plankton and they've only got arrows flowing out or, or going out of them. Um, and so that suggests to me that plankton must be the producer. And plankton are, in fact, tiny microscopic plants that drift about in the sea. And they're, they're the producers in many marine ecosystems. So the answer here is plankton. So let's just put that in. Plankton. And that would be worth one mark. The second question is asking us to suggest which organisms would be most affected if the number of krill decreased. And that's one mark. Now, command word is the word suggest. Straight away, I know I need to use my existing knowledge and understanding and apply it to be able to answer this question. So it's our knowledge and understanding of food webs. And it says suggest which organisms and look at that S. That means we're looking for more than one organism would be most affected. That's also key because it might mean that we've got a number of organisms that are affected, but we need to decide which ones are most affected. OK, and that's if the number of krill decrease. So let's look for the krill in the diagram. Here they are in the middle. Let's have a quick look. What do the krill eat? They eat the plankton, but what eats the krill? Well, the krill are eaten by, we can tell by the arrows, whales, looking at that arrow there, seagulls, also like krill, squid eat krill, and finally, can you see here, seals also eat krill. Now, the next thing we need to do, we know those four organisms all eat krill, but which ones would be most affected? How do we know that? Well, if you look down here, whales, their only food source is krill, so they'd be really affected. Similarly, for squid, their only food source is krill. Whereas if you look at seagulls, there are two arrows going into seagulls. They eat krill, but they can also eat squid. Seals, similarly, they eat krill, but they also eat squid and penguins. So they'd be less affected than the squid and the whales that have krill as their only food source. So the answer to that question is going to be squid and whales. Doesn't matter which order you put it in. You just need to write the name of those two organisms to get your mark.